Hello everyone, I am Mahesh Gaur, General Manager Product Certification and Product Testing Lab, TUV India, part of Tufnod Group. I hope you all are safe with your families. Safety is what we observe in our day-to-day -day life and we all know it's very important to be safe at all times. And at all places, whether it's our home, public place or workplaces. As you all know, European countries are known for its safe products and safety standards. You all must have seen a C mark on various products, whether it's home appliances or an industrial machine. But do you know what exactly this C marking means? So C stands for Conformity European, which is a symbol of safety and it's required to be placed on products before exporting to European Union. There are various directives under C marking umbrella which are applicable to different product categories. Today in this knowledge sharing session, I would like to brief you about one of the directive which is called ATEX Directive 2014-34 EU. So ATEX stands for Atmosphere Explosible or you can say Explosive Atmosphere. A, mixture, a potentially explosive atmosphere exists when a mixture of air, gases, vapors, mists or dust combine in a way that can ignite under certain operating conditions. ATEX Directive is applicable for equipment, protective systems and components used in this potentially explosive environment and yes, for both electrical and non-electrical equipment. Some people think that ATEX is not applicable for non-electrical equipment, but no. Many mechanical products like pumps, gears, fans and mechanical assemblies can also have potential ignition sources. The ATEX Directive divides equipment into two groups, Group 1 and Group 2, which are further subdivided into different categories, Category 1, 2 or 3. So Group 1 is for mining applications and Group 2 is for non-mining applications. Different category of equipments are installed in different zones like Category 1 equipment for Zone 0 or 20, Category 2 for Zone 1 or 21 and Category 3 for Zone 2 or 22. Category 1 equipments can also be installed in Zone 1 and 2 and likewise Category 2 can be installed in Zone 2. Zone 0, 1 and 2 indicates gas atmosphere and 20, 21 and 22 indicates dust atmosphere. Depending on the group and category, various conformity assessment procedures are followed. For example, EU type examination, internal production control, unit verification and few more. I also want to share Tufnod is a notified body for ATEX directive for electrical and non-electrical products and for all category of equipment installed in various zones. We at TUV India are ready to support you for ATEX certification and testing to make our world safer. Thank you very much and take care.